Twitch. Lucian versus Vayne. Kinda hurts. Still not a good matchup. You can yeah. tumble out of Piercing Lights, but it blew you there, his distortion. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a heal available for both of them. Robert, don't run in! Oh, they went for Broken oh, Charge! Broken Charge comes out of nowhere! Robert still taking a little bit of damage. They throw down the summoner heal that he gets himself in a range with. Another Peacemaker brings him an inch from death again, but he lives it out, and it's going to be Mash that goes down first. Valiant attempt coming in for Curse Academy. Now Westrice on the bottom side finds Pat as he tries to get some gold on the other side of the map for the team. Westrice oh, the is going to leap away from that one. And Rux, good guy, tanking the turret out so Pat can get the safety. Oh, he flat oh Just what? whiffed it in front of Westrice so close to hitting that one. It's catering to that. They're going to go ahead and take the second one. Top lane still being pushed in. They have the cape block. He's <laughs> it's just like, no. Sonic wave, no. No. He's trying to thread it. He's trying to thread it. That. Oh! Hits he gets still safeguard. He gets still safeguard to it. Can he? Oh, they stopped attack. Oh! Yeah. Smart play from Complexity. Black to completely turn oh, the Oh, and he smited oh, it early! He gets it! Broken shard smited early. Pat's gonna get hipped up by the Dark Binding, but still a valiant attempt and a double thumbs up coming from his team on another Dragon Steel. They now they're just pushing. It's four men strong from Curse Academy in the mid lane. Oh, no black oh, shield for that. That is a dead Bubba Dub. Probably tries to go in and get the same amount of damage, but he comes up just short, unfortunately. Dual sec able to get that heal and speed steroid in. Robert X Lee could get a nice side strafe culling, but it's going to be too little, too late. Kent to the second one. Pat has been on point. Probably it's a nice chain down. Should be able to get some follow up damage oh, for the rest of the team. How many flashes there were just used to get in? Okay, it was just broken shard and then flashy moves from everybody else. An intervention used to absorb a lot of damage. A lot of the burst came right. down at that moment. Yeah. They thought they had him locked up. They held off on it for a second, but K1 Pro, here comes Prowley. Whoa, very nicely played. Broken Shard saying, we'll do this. I'll repel the aggro. And Prowley coming up with a very nice kill for himself. <laughs> Goes all the way through it. Oh, getting the flash out. I a lot of plays trying to be made right now, Zyrene. A lot of plays. Oh, the clone takes the damage, but it's not going to be enough. Rux has Eve to get out safely there. Pat getting a shot on to Bubba Dub. Doesn't decide to follow that in, but you can see Bubba Dub as well trying to support like heck has just used flash. Oh, here comes Robert and from the Shackle. front. This is what he wanted last time. There's the culling, but he realizes that the train is not stopping as it comes down the tracks. Tries to reposition himself. Broken shard, not in the right spot. Mash me can't get the last shot off. And oh, he he's in range of Mash. What are you wall. doing? Walked back in right to the auto attack, and it looks <laughs> like Mash feels he can take a little bit of an assert. He needs to be done. Albeit, it's great to try. Chapter 9. Backs out. Chris Academy looking to go back to it, though. They want to revisit this, and it looks like oh, it's going to be the West pink is TPing in. That pink Turn to page 35. Taken down. What a place. They can't get the five shots in. A great teleport in from West Rice, and he is going to start going hard on this one, using the lamp post to the best of its ability. Robert X Lee coming in with probably from the right side, and complexity turns up positioning of Curse Academy on top of their own head. And they end up picking up the smite, so Broken Shard doesn't have to worry about that this time. He's gonna pick up this dragon, like, save for a miracle. Boom. And they get it. Any burst damage that would hit him at the moment without having to have that magic resist. Yeah, West Price is split pushing despite not having TP up. And there's the binding landing. Well, there's a hook onto Robert. Intervention went down. Pat took a lot of damage out of that, so this is all damage that's gonna stick now. Dual set cannot heal K1 Pro or give him that speed He's got up. the red. Oh, no! It's clicking. There's the Ardent Blaze. They are going to be able to pick up the kill onto that one. It looks like they may get a very nice pinch in. Mashmi needs to have that peel for Rux coming in. Oh, they're oh, coming all or, around him right sorry, now. Sorry, Rux needs to have that peel for There's Mashmi. a surprise. Not going to happen. Nobody's peeling for nobody. No caliber nets. They have found the vision control on the map. Oh, oh stopping him from getting the lantern. They're locking him up. Oh, no, sir. You will not take the lantern and pass go. And it will be Robert X Lee. Giving everybody the root into the cocoon, just back to back. And now they're oh trying to go dear. after Robert. Oh dear. They ran straight for Baron, but we're oh, they absolutely can't get to him. looking for a fight. Living for just a few more seconds. Broken Shard also goes down, so they lose one on each oh, side. Oh, Mashmi's exhausted. Soul Shackle's able to lock down K1 Pro. Mashmi getting the intervention, but he walks straight into the rest of the fight, trying to get the kill for himself. And West Rice has the dueling gold. power. This is going to be big. West Rice throwing down the lamp power, probably on the backside. Oh, here's Pat. Oh my He's God, back. Pat coming in from 
of nowhere. He is not going to be able to hit the right minion. It's going to have to be a flash attack. No, he has the ward necessary from his sight stone pickup. Gets the Dragon Rage kick down, and now he's on the chase with the Magician just missing off on the Sonic Wave. Going to have another ward right quick, but I don't think he will be in range for the Tipple, or the Tipple, the Tempest Cripple. The Tipple, yeah, the just tipple. combine them both. But here's Robert back. He's pulling a pat on Pat. Uh, too bad, so sad. I'm going to face check this. Pops his Dominus to try and get to him. Gets him out of the fight. But then at the bottom, after Rux gets taken out, Broken Sharp is eating a lot of damage that entire time. Mash me, he's just off on the side. He gets exhausted, but he gets out of the tether, and then he tries to turn it around. He gets the intervention, and that's enough for him to get on the Robert X lead. And now, here's the Baron from Complexity <laughs> Black. Pat's down, there's no smite for them. Rux just walks on in. They are not going to be able to grab that with the smite. Pat not in range. And it looks like it's going to be Complexity Black with a lot of stats here, trying to push the advantage of Baron. Spider's going to be taken out. Not died, so. Complexity Black can keep themselves safe. There's a 1-2. Not much going down. West Rice Rice is getting one. Of course, the flash out of him. But it looks like, oh, this could be bad for West Rice. He should not make it out of this. The rest of the team oh. is actually going to help in games on this one. A few Duo more shots. Duo Sex says, heck no, you are not making it out alive. They are not able to turn around for damage either. The focus from Complexity Black quickly goes on to Duo Sex. But what for? Can they still kill the rest of Curse Academy? Broken Shard gets hooked out on the side. The Peacemaker hits. He's still alive. He's out of there. He flashes into the cocoon. An amazing save that Broken Shard sets up for himself with the rest of the team on the back side is the cavalry and they continue now to reposition and jockey for the aggression we're gonna come up very strong here in game oh, he's two. going to do a sec that Woo. no intervention there probably nope. just wore that off and he's gonna go back for a second treatment the turret goes down complexity bat black putting up a very good fight in this game and definitely making a name for themselves. Pat gets caught up. Will they be able to finish him off? The one, two, three from the rest of the team as everybody gets a piece of that one. We're 36 minutes in on this one. It looks like whatever time Complexity had in between games was just enough to work out what they needed for a win. And just coming over the wall from Prawley. Academy playing a very similar composition to game one. The only change here is from Twitch to Caitlyn. It doesn't seem like the composition is working out as well. That pressure that Twitch put on the fight with the intervention, there it is being used on to Duosec. Just not coming together as rich as Ooh, it did last time. Gone. Another kill coming in. Robert X Lee having a very good game for himself. A double kill to pick up the ender on that one. And they are going to keep going well, for the, the long haul here. Complexity Black it's going for another. will not let a second game go. They're going to bring it back. The quadra kill coming in for Robert X Lee on the Lucian pick up this game. And he is going to help carry the team to victory here. Very definitive win compared to our first game as Complexity Black brings it to game three, one to one now. For oh, they got him! Academy, very oh, the Penta. nice. <laughs> Pentakill after the elongated time. You can hear the chat blips going out. GG, great Penta. Robert X Lee in the third place match.